So as you can see, the way this works, water goes in there. There is a two-layered glass tube. Water goes in through there, and the outer layer is pretty much to um, absorb the solar rays. So as you can see, uh, right now we have a 200 liter uh, solar heater with all these tubes. Each are um, insulating, uh, heating up the water on the inner black tube. And the outer black tube is pretty much used to absorb those solar rays. The first part of installing one of these solar heaters is, as you see here, uh, you're going to build your base. You have to have a 180 degree solid base wherever you're at because these come at a flat surface. So if you don't have a flat surface like a mountain side of the hill or a roof, you're going to have to build this. Um, so once you build this and it's all stable, 90 degree everywhere, um, exactly leveled. You're gonna build this frame over here that you see. And it's pretty much just follow the rules that you see on the picture on your manual, if you get a manual, or just uh, see other pictures. But you're gonna connect this part. Once it's all connected, this frame, you're gonna start putting the tanks over there. Uh, so as you see all those screws, you're gonna slightly like uh, tighten them, but not too much, so you can move them around. Top, and that goes just uh, just twist it a little bit and just put some pressure on it and it'll go down. This tube right there that you see, that's where the cold water goes in and it goes into the small tank and down into the bigger tank. So on this side we have the exiting hot water. And if you look right here, the, it comes this big tank comes with a little uh, uh, metal PVC that you can just attach some another node in there and then you can attach this tube that is specially for hot water and you can use this glue that is also specially for uh, hot water going through it so it doesn't like damage it or absorb the plastic uh, into the water um, so we'll go all the way into the showers from there you can divide it into the different showers and that and um, on this side uh, we have like little cable sticking out so that's for extra um, if if for, let's say like we have a cloudy day all day or it's like um, yeah you don't see any sun and if you really need hot water and you don't want to freeze you can connect these to electricity and you can warm them up with electricity but as you know uh, electricity um, it'll use a lot of electricity to heat up water so uh, you don't have to do that unless you really want hot water or else you can just go back to the leña and stove way um, so after that after you settled the base the structure the frame you're gonna start putting these tubes in there uh, so you're gonna place them th this tube has an has an opening You're gonna place it slowly in there and twist it slowly as well and you're gonna level up to the bottom over here from here you're gonna hold it put the cap in there and then put this bottom part so you got that bottom part it's all stable you're gonna then stick these things 
right here. So. Nothing goes out, nothing, nothing comes in, all the way squished. And that one tube is done, and you just keep doing all of them. And after that, you just do the connections for the water intake and water, well, the water going out that is hot. So I just gotta make sure, if you're at a high elevation, you might need a, a pump to put up the cold water into this elevated um, solar water heater. And after that, just like you can just like gravity do the work into going down into the bathroom with hot water. There you can do all the connections. Okay, uh, I think on on that side, you can see there's the air vent. So that's all part of the 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 big tank once you install it. And that should be it. So you see, it's pretty basic. Anyone can do it as long as you know how to do it. <laughs> yeah, okay, thanks. Cold water goes into that tank. And then into the solar water heater. So the hot water goes down in there. Follow that, follow that. And as you can see, um, there's a key right here. And then they connected it over here. This is the cold water. So if it's too hot, open the cold one a little bit and then put a little bit hot and it'll combine them and then shower time. Right? <laughs> yep, the tea joint helps. <laughs> and for special cases like in schools where you don't want kids to take these off, break them and all that, just make sure you can make a hole in the wall and there you can bury it like like all these lights so you can see you can't touch it but these will be well aren't that sustainable as you can see so nobody can just grab onto them and break them check that Mira que está el lado de aquí. Ajá. Ese te pica, muy respeto, mata eso. Habla. Okay, so we gotta make sure this is leveled or else uh, we're gonna have to start over again because if it's not level, it might leak somewhere over here or um, it might break with, with any little movement. So that's why like, we had to replace the other one because it had a broken side. This and water got in there and that's how it uh well we had to replace it and we had to restart the whole thing over because it wasn't leveled here so it wouldn't be able to go in easily the problem was that this wasn't positioned right it wasn't rolled all the way right so so you kind of have to take them out so you can put in the right position or else they all had like little gaps on the bottom. So we have to start over. 